Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as both great houses hold court and retain control of their respective regions. KOTT news crews were able to catch up with Trap Chat leadership after their fight in Brightwood. Congratulations on your victory. How do you feel it went out there tonight? Well, you know, it all started with a little 25 versus 25 action. And then um, we were tired of playing ping pong, so we just decided to give up the B point and just uh, fight it on the C point. It was, a, it was a good time. Anybody out there whose efforts you'd like to highlight? Honestly, we had a couple of um, green homies that pulled through. Like um, Kui and his 5 stack, and some, some of the U up boys in here. It's nice seeing uh, similar faces from different servers just pull through and help us defend. Is there anything else you might like to tell the citizens of Eternum while you have this forum? Uh, you know, yellow is kind of down bad right now, but slowly but surely we're getting stronger, and who knows, we might go for the capital pretty soon. In related news, there will be a one-on-one -on -one PvP tournament held next weekend, hosted by Hammer of Dawn. Event organizers, about 31 birds, requests that interested parties responde si vous please using the link in the description. A significant prize pool is available for participants to win, so check it out if you're looking to test your metal. Turning to the weather and it looks like the sun will increase its streak of flying across the sky by yet another day. But look out after sunset as the corrupted forces of the island lay siege to 20% of the island's east coast. No submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight. Brought to you by Peace. But we'll have any late breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been war correspondent John Schlant, KOTT News.